Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an ellipse by the rectangle method in AutoCAD. Now, in our previous video, we drew an ellipse using the concentric circle method. This one, we're going to be using the rectangle method. Now, here we go. Now, here, as you can see, it says that we are required to draw a rectangle, uh, an ellipse by rectangle method. Take major axis being equal to 100 millimeters and remember major axis is like the width and the minor axis 70 millimeter which is basically think about it like the height to draw this the first thing i'm going to do is to go to my construction layer i'm then going to draw a rectangle so i'm going to select my rectangle command the shortcut for rectangle command is rec enter I'm going to enter the width for my rectangle, which is 100 millimeter. Then I'm going to press the tab key on my keyboard. Then I'm going to enter the height, which is 70 millimeter. And then press enter. There you go. We have a rectangle. Let me move my rectangle down a bit. My next step is that I'm going to be dividing my rectangle into four um, quarters or four quadrants. So I'm going to click on my line tool and draw a horizontal line across and down. Once I've done so, the next thing I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to select my um, rectangle here and I'm going to explode it. So I'm going to type X on my keyboard, press enter. I'm then going to be activating a command known as the divide command. So I'm going to type D I V then press enter. I select a line that I want to divide, for example, this side one here, and then I'm going to enter eight, and then press enter. Now, nothing happened. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be activating another command or opening a window called um, point type. I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to type P, T, and then press enter. This window is going to pop up. The reason why we're not seeing anything is because it's currently select on dot. You can choose from any one of these varieties here. I'm going to be selecting this one. And I'm going to be changing all of this here to absolute. And then I'm going to go OK. Now, as you can see here, these division points are a bit large. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to activate the command again and I'm going to change it from five to two. As you can see, these are more acceptable. I'm then going to do the same and divide the top horizontal line. So I'm going to type D I V and then I'm going to press enter. I click on the top line, enter the amount of division, eight, then press enter. At this point now, we can label our drawing. So we can label A, B for the major axis and then C, D for the minor axis. Let's do that. Let me click on the multi text tool and I'm going to type my letters. I'm going to change my text height here um, from, from 3 to 4. All right, and here I'm going to type A. I'm then going to copy this line to my left, to my right, that is, and up here as well. So I'm going to add this to my, con my um, annotation layer first, then I'm going to copy. Let me turn on ortho just a bit. Or no, it does not need it. Let's go here. Let's place one here. And let's place one down here. You can then go through and modify your text. So we go A. This one is B. And we go C. And then finally, we're at D. Now, I think I'm going to remove this line since we already have this horizontal vertical line dividing those or at those specific points. So we can remove some of the clutter. I'm now going to label these division points using 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
I'm simply going to be using this text that I've already had here and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to place it here. I'm going to reduce the text size a bit to form 4 to um, 3 and I'm going to enter 1 here. Now if your text is a bit small and you're not comfortable with the text size, you can always adjust it. For example, if I want this to be a bit smaller, I can change the text size to 2. Likewise, you could do the same for your letters that go around your object, which is A, B, C, and D. Once I've done so, I'm going to copy this text to the other location. For example, here. So I'm moving up. Let me turn on auto for this. Here and here. So this top one will be 3. And this middle one here will be 2. All right. Once I've done so, I'm then going to label those on the horizontal or horizontal line. Now, you remember these that we did earlier. Now, I'm going to be moving these lines here down to my center horizontal line along AB. So I'm going to activate my move command by pressing M, then pressing enter, click in the middle here, and then move down to this point here. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to be copying these letters and I'm going to be placing them, for example, one right here. I'll reactivate and copy my two and place it right here. I'll then go again and select my three and copy it to where? Right here, just like this. Now, the next step for me is that I'm going to be drawing diagonal line from point D here to each one of these division points here. So I'm going to start by clicking on my line tool, starting at this point here. If you find out that your cursor is not selecting these division points, it means that a node, which is one of your snap feature, is not turned on. So here we go. I'm going to move this out of the way a bit. I'm going to click on this drop down menu here at OSNAP cursor. Once I've clicked on it, a window should pop up and I'm going to select node. Now there's a tick, I'm good to go. I'm going to draw a line from one to point D, then back to two. And then finally, I can reactivate my line command again and then draw my final line. All right, now once I've done so, the next step is that I'm going to be drawing a line from point C right here to each one of these division points here, one, two, and three. Again, starting at one to point C, then back to two. Then finally, I'll close things off by drawing three to point C. Now, my next step is that I'm going to be extending these three lines to match up or to extend to the corresponding line. So for example, what I'm talking about for point three line here, I'm going to extend it so that it touches point three line here. All right, how do I do that? I'm simply going to click on line three right here. Then I'm going to activate my extend command. I'll type EX to extend then press enter, then click on this line here. I repeat the process through two to one. So I select line two now, then type EX, then press enter, then click on this line. I repeat it for the last line, which is line one here, EX, enter, then extend this line. Wonderful. Now once I've done so, I'm going to be uh, doing some lazy work again and I'm going to be selecting these lines and these letters and numbers, sorry. So I'm going to select three, two, one there. I'm going to select these lines as well, three, two, one, as well as these lines here. We can also go ahead and select these division lines here. I'm then going to be mirroring these lines to my right. So I'll activate my mirror command here, click. 
and my mirror line is going to be between C and D. Select no. Now once that is done, I'm going to be mirroring again. Where am I going to be mirroring to? I'm going to be mirroring downwards. So I'm going to go here, select all lines here. I'm going to be selecting these letter, well, numbers and division line right here. I'm going to be leaving these division points, but I'm going to be uh, mirroring my numbers here as well as these lines here. Once I've done so, I'll activate my mirror command right here. Then I my select, I'll select my mirror line, which is line A, B, like this. Then I'll select no. All right, as you can see, our division numbers have also moved around. Everything is all neat, looking like a sun right here. The final step is to simply draw your ellipse. How are we going to draw our ellipse? We're going to activate our spleen tool function. You could type SPL and then press enter. That will activate your spleen line tool function. Or you could select the drop down menu here, then select spleen line right here. To start, to start, I'm going to start at point A and I'm going to be moving um, my cursor and clicking on anywhere um, corresponding line touches each other. For example, where two, where one touches one, I'll draw a line from there. And then let me switch my layer to object layer. I'll then go to here and I'll work my way around. Now here, I'll then make my way to point B up here. Then to this location then this one. And I'm sure you got the drift by now. All right, I'm now moving to point B. Then I'll make my way around my rectangle here, ensuring that I'm clicking on all these intersections right here. All right, final point is here, and then we close things off at, back at point A. Now, once that is done, I encourage you to move your cursor out a bit. All right, you could probably move it all the way up, then press enter on your keyboard. Remember, if you select escape, you will deactivate the command and you'll have to reactivate the spleen tool to redraw the um, spleen line for the ellipse. Let me add this to my object layer and our ellipse is complete. The only thing that is left for us to do is to add our title and our dimension. What are the dimensions that we're capturing? We're capturing the major axis and the minor axis. All right, let me go to my dimension layer right here. And I'm going to draw a dimension line using linear and I'm going to draw a horizontal um, dimension line right here. 100 and then one for the height from here to here, which is 70 millimeters. All right, there you go. Now let's start out our title. So ellipse, rectangle method. So that's what we're going to add here. Let us make the E capital, the R capital, and the M capital. All right, let's place this in the center of our text box. And then we're going to be adding the scale down below. So the scale, S-C-A-L-E, the scale is um, one, um, two, one. I'm going to cut down the size of my scale to just a little bit. So I'm going to make it three. I'm going to keep the rest of the object like this. All right. I'm also going to move it up a bit closer to my drawing like this. Now, if this is an SBA piece, this is the final thing. All right. Now, I hope this video was helpful. Hope you learned something. Hope this help you in completing this task for your SBA. Please like, share, and subscribe. This drawing file will be linked in the description below as well as the um, drawing file template. If there's any question, queries, or concern, please put them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to explain as best as I can. 
see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to lay out your drawing. I'm going to lay out mine now. As you can see, I have that there. My drawing is now right here, setting my scale. One to one. Let's position our drawing. Double tap on the outside like that. Let's preview what it will look like when it is being printed. That is what it will look like with our ellipse being bold, everything else being minor. All right. So remember, the main subject of your drawing, bolder than everything else. See you in the next video.